And we'll put a thing right here. There we go. That was complicated. But at this point in time, we can do this. We're just not going to have our... What is this stuff doing in here? We're just not going to have the titanium crystals till we start like bringing them back, producing more. Gonna need more drones at this point. Our titanium crystal production is pretty much stopped at this point. Yeah, we're just not getting the organic crystals because we pretty much stopped all production here. So we're gonna have to bring some back. Okay, remote demand. I do want to create some of these mini fusion power plants, mainly because, like, we're gonna need them. Just so we can use the deuterium fuel cells. So, a little manufacturing area somewhere here, if I can get it. Let's make one right now. Okay, what do we need again? It's like I'm already forgetting the ingredients for this stuff. So we need titanium alloys, super magnetic rings. Uh, the, this stuff, and then what was the last one? Processors. Wait a minute, where's our things? Okay, we're still getting more of those. Oh, and I should probably put in these vessels here. Okay, so anyway, uh, 12, 10, 8, and 4. So 12. 10, 8, and 4. Okay, we are making these uh, mini fusion power plants just so we can plop these down and get some easy power. And we're going to output. But oh, that's not going to work. So we'll put it down like this. Oh, I just realized. We can't do that. We're gonna need another spot somewhere, and actually, this looks like to be a good spot. So the mini fusion power plants will go in here. Take a while, but we'll be getting that. So once we get a few of these mini fusion power plants, what I want to do is uh, bring some extra deuterium with me. If I can find it. What's the bottleneck here? Oh, it's the deuterium. Uh, deuterium fuel cells right here.
Okay, 20 should be good enough at this point. This super magnetic ring should just go in here. Uh, I think we're good to go at this point. And then titanium crystals are here, of course. Okay, let's head out again. Like, we need to make some more titanium crystals, but we need to make them in the other thing here. But probably should pick up some extra building supplies at this point. So maybe like a few more of these things here. You know what? I think these can just stay as MK2s. Like, when I build out, like, blueprints somewhere else, that's when I'll upgrade them. In the meantime... Go ahead and get more of these. Alright, I think we're good to go. Let's get out of here. So where's the other system? Right over there. Alright, so titanium crystals. Our research has pretty been halt pretty much been halted this entire time, mainly because like, we don't have titanium crystals. And on top of that, like we're gonna need green signs before we can advance further. So we really do need to get this done. I'm thinking we'll build out another research facility in this system as well. Because I'm also going to be building the Dyson Spear. Also. Like, I don't want to do it in the starter system. Because we're just running out of resources over there at this point. How are we doing here? Okay, saturated with coal. Okay, that stuff is getting saturated with coal. Like, we do need more of these vessels over here. I do want... Uh, deuterium fuel cells... Or... Fuel rods, I guess. Or, you know what? Let's, uh... Let's... Put the line over here. Or maybe we should put these... Like, right here first. Ten of them over here. And then we'll put down another ten. Is missing one thing here. Okay, there we go. And then we'll put the, I guess, the Turium over here. So, remote demand, local supply. 
or local demand, I should say. And remote storage, I guess. And here we go. We're going to have sufficient power for a while. But in the meantime, let's get our titanium crystal production going. Do I have a recipe for that? No, I don't. Titanium crystals is like two in ones, right? It's what? Wait a minute, this icon is wrong. This icon is wrong. It's supposed to be a smelter for this icon. Okay, so the two in one. We'll use the turbines blueprint here. Come on. Okay, we're gonna need manufacturers. I'm also gonna need some spray coders. Like, I really should get that automated. Also need the upgrades here. So just need to swap these out. Then we'll do the MK3s here. Okay, titanium crystals. It takes the organic crystals here. It takes titanium ingots here. Wait, it's supposed to supply these. Never mind. Okay, so the middle section over here is going to be the titanium ingots, and the far side is crystals. Okay, now I need to set this to titanium crystals. Two, three. Okay, let's just finish this first and then we'll be able to do this. There we go. All right, let's save the blueprint. Wait a minute, something wasn't upgraded. Unless I included like this part over here. Yeah, it probably was including this section of the conveyor belt. Except this looks like MK3s, so I don't know what's going on here. Okay, let's just do this. Titanium crystals. Okay, let's find out. Like, what's missing here? We should be able to plop this down... ...like so. Make sure it's lined up. Oh, there's an entire section that's like... 
What in the hell? So that was the problem. But when I was scrubbing this area with the upgrade, like, why didn't that get upgraded? Like, I had the stuff to upgrade it. Clearly. I'm going to have to save this once again. The okay, titanium crystals. Got the assembler right here. Yeah, this looks correct. So let's put down another one. And... Yeah, that missing area is now gone. It's now not missing anymore, I should say. Need more assemblers. Okay, so we are slowly getting those titanium crystals. Now I do need to send them, like, over here. Then we can start sending these out. Now, I do want to see the logistics vessel, like, heading out before I do anything else. Because I need to know if it's actually doing that. And yeah, there it is. So, it is being sent out. So, how is our power at this point? Yeah, the power is still good. I just don't have any more deuterium to spare. So once that goes out, like, we're not going to have power anymore. So the next thing I want to do is let's... Let's go ahead and start manufacturing some super magnetic rings. We already have titanium alloys here, so we can manufacture deuterium here. And we got plenty of deuterium to spare. I also want to see this. And we're also spending that hydrogen on this. So let's go ahead and start manufacturing stuff. So we should have a little thing for iron ore and magnets. Unless we don't. We're not even using iron ore. So okay, let's put these down uh it's iron ore magnets you would produce the casmere crystals I'm gonna need to upgrade this blueprint and oh no I need some wireless towers or not the not the wireless towers the Tesla towers I don't have any spares in here so part of the reason I want to start setting up this stuff here is because I need some manufacturing of basic stuff so I can just continue building. And it's probably more appropriate if I do this in planet number one over here since we have plenty of iron and copper. So 
So actually, I should be dismantling this. So we'll make the super magnetic rings over in number one and then just bring them over. We don't have a lot of manufacturing here anyway. And we already have the magnets, iron ingots, and stuff like that. So great, I had the foresight to get this going. But do I have copper? No, I buried that node. Probably should unbury it. Or whatever we can unbury. So we probably can't do this fully, but that's the best we can do. And then we'll just bring it around like so. these here you know what I think it would be wise to upgrade these And we have all MK3s here at this point. It's just the MK1s we didn't upgrade. Oh, didn't put a container there. There we go. So we're also going to need some copper. Fill this in, fill this in. Now let me just check our stuff here. Oh, right, we actually don't have enough titanium or sulfuric acid being mined. Or at least it's not fully saturated. At least it's blocked off here. Okay, I think we're fine at this point. Uh, we can build here. We are going to build copper ingots. Now the problem I have is that these proliferators... It's not doing it anymore. Like, we need those uh, spray coaters. MK3s. Oh, and I also need to upgrade this. Coders, where are you? Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's just these components and 
the plasma exciters. Like, we rarely need those in buildings, but we have to build it here. So, let's just do that. Then replace these MK2s with MK3s. Okay, so we can start replacing this blueprint as well. And that looks alright. Oh. Okay. And then, uh, Arc Smelter. Here we go. We've overwritten that. While we're at it, let's also get this steel blueprint. And I just realized... We need to set the outputs again. I keep forgetting that. So we need to resave this blueprint. Uh, copper ingots, arc smelter. Okay, this looks good. The steel blueprint. We never saved the steel blueprint. Okay, we will now. These have the MK3s. Uh, we do need to upgrade this blueprint. Um, we also need to get some stone. Anything nearby that's convenient, or do we need to go hunting for it? The stone is like on the other side of the planet. So probably should just get them. Even though I have super magnetic rings being produced, I don't want to send them for my starter system. Otherwise, it'll just be depleted. Like, we need uh, those super magnetic rings on the starter system. Because pretty much all of our manufacturing is there at this point, so don't want to deplete it. But new manufacturing is what I need. Just so we can get stuff faster. This, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. I'm just trying to explain my way of thinking here. Because even though it might be a little bit slower to get this up and running. Because then if I just use the stuff I'm already producing. Like it does help in the long run. Um, stone goes here. Oh, I don't have wireless towers. So we'll get that going and we are getting stone. 
So let's just go over here and then we'll get a thing for stones or what was it called? Uh, stone glass two in one. We do need to edit that blueprint as well. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to need some of those arc smelters again. Now, how many did I store up here? One stack. All right. I'm also going to need these. And this eventually. So we don't have anything in store anymore. Alright, let's get this upgraded. So I should have all the basic things I need for the spray coater, or at least the ingredients for the spray coater. Okay, I need to change this out to MK3s. Also need to output these. So at this point in time, the titanium crystals should uh, should be arriving at our home planet and being sent to our Casimir crystal production. So when we get back there, we should have a, a nice stockpile of that stuff ready for us. Okay, so everything should be set properly. Uh, we don't have any MK1s in here. So this is good to go. So this is our stone glass 2-1 production. And where are you here? How did I set the icon? Three and one, three and two. Was it three and three? It's like I'm already forgetting. You know what, let's do three and three. Or oh, I think we can do four and two. So we'll do like this: stone, glass. And then the icon here. There we go. How about those other icons? Like... Uh... Hmm. You know what? Let's keep it like this. Oh, I used the five in one. Okay. Uh, do you know what? That's okay. Or maybe we can do the four and two as well over here. Uh, just get this out of the way uh, real quick. Yeah, there we go. Stone and glass, iron ingots, and magnets. Uh, did I have another thing of that? No, I didn't. Okay, enough of that. So we have all of the basic materials at this point. Except for graphite. Hmm. Should we even produce it here? 
Well, let's get the other stuff going first. So, down some blueprints. And we have some nice building space over here. Let's take advantage of that. So what I want are magnetic coils and circuit boards. Or you know what? Put it like this. Yeah, this is a good opportunity to just upgrade all of our blueprints at this point. We're going to be upgrading it one last time uh, once we get the MK3s for the assemblers. And I'll put this. Is these will be magnetic coils. Save the blueprint here, and then we're going to do circuit boards right beside it. It was just need to make sure this is properly aligned, and it looks like it is. Get rid of this, switch it with the MK3s. Then we'll save this blueprint. Okay, so this is circuit boards. Oops. All right, assembling machines. We will save this. We got these upgraded with the MK3s. Now, I really like that even without the spray coders, this will still function. And then we can just come back later with the spray coders.